M42, the Orion Nebula. So I set myself the target of capturing 20 hours of data on this deep sky object. And I don't think it's gonna happen, uh, to be honest. Uh, missed out on a ton of clear nights due to work commitments, uh, and also the really stormy weather we've had lately in the UK. It's been <laughs> quite awful. Um, so yeah, I have missed out on quite a bit. And Orion has really shifted now. I'm not gonna get as much exposure time as I, I really wanted. Uh, so yeah, it's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. But it is not all bad. I have gathered quite a chunk of data, roughly about the 13, 14 hour mark. And tonight I've decided that tonight is going to be my last session on this. So while it happens is final. Welcome everyone and welcome back to Cosmos Astro. bite though at my uh, it looks a uh, feeling a bit chilly <laughs> so lovely blue skies and the clouds should be staying away till about two in the morning and that's not going to be a massive issue because by then Ryan is going to be behind my house um, so like I mentioned there uh, I am sort of running out of time and it's rising quite early now um, from where I'm at in my back garden uh, so all the data I've gathered so far has been with my Red Cat 51 and my one shot colour camera from ZWO, the 533 MC Pro. And I have been using my dual narrowband filter from Octal along the Ellen Hands. And I've decided to, tonight I'm going to take that out, just put my IR cut filter in from ZWO and just soak in some natural light it should be okay there's no moon out tonight uh, i am in the lower end of the bottle five scale light polluted skies um even though i have got a little bit of light pollution from the neighbors uh, back gardens and that but it should be okay i'm not going to be doing that long of exposure um, no longer than 60 seconds because i've got so much data available to me I'm, i think i'm not too worried about things going wrong that's why i've decided to take the filter out um and you know if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. That's the cards have been dealt with, uh, it's, so be it. So Missing 42 does have a, a very special place in my heart. And a shock horror here. It was the first deep sky object I ever captured, like many beginners out there. And I'm just gonna pop it up here. So I, this is probably my favorite image I've got. There's a lot going wrong with it, yeah, you have to uh, admit. But it, it tells a story, tells me how far I've gone. And I took this image before I even knew about stacking or calibration frames and i was sort of going the route of landscape astrophotography i was um, one of my early influences was alan wallace uh, for instance i was following him so i was getting into that but when i took this image i uh, very fast fell in love with deep sky astrophotography and sunk further and further into this bottomless pit we call a hobby <laughs> so there is a reason why beginners go for this the sky object early on and it's because it's there isn't it it's just it's visible to the naked eye it's so bright and in my opinion it is an easy target to capture but i think the key is how you capture it and also how you process it and um, not that I'm many expert at this <laughs> Well, that session went over pretty sharpish, uh, just under two hours. And like I mentioned, uh, it's, uh, I'm not getting much exposure time on it now. I went behind my house. So yeah, done, dusted. Got a few uh, different exposure times, a bit of a mixed bag. I'll show you them in a second. Um, I've switched targets. I've gone on to Messier 45. Play these, the open star cluster. 
so yeah it is i think a bit of clouds gone over actually to be honest it's uh, gone down a bit uh, but i've chucked a two hour sequence in and if i can get more then fair enough i'd be interested to see how this turns out i, I think i captured it last year the year before um using my dslr so it'd be interesting to see the difference on that i thought why not you know i haven't got the filter in it's a broadband target uh yeah so on to the start of the show the Orion Nebula. I'll just get these uh, files up. So like I mentioned the mixed bag, I've uh, gone for 10 seconds. I'll explain this in a second. But uh, point of note, the brightness is right down. And you can see these trapezes made are exposed. And you're not gonna get much detail with 10 seconds, but just goes to show how easy you can actually capture this object uh, with you know, 10 seconds uh, so uh, let's go to I did 30 seconds as well I think about half an hour's worth I did half an hour's worth with 10 seconds as well this is brightness has brought up a bit more not too much again you know the good exposures you can see a bit of detail in, in and around it showing up and then I did a uh, one minute exposures I've got about an hour's worth of that you're gonna see a, a jump here in brightness there you go again not too much uh, but it's starting to get to that limit that I wanted uh, with no filter in I didn't want to go too much and, and blow it all out but yeah I'm uh, all in all I am happy with how that's gone it'd be nice to add this to my existing data and see how this is all going to turn out all my ex uh, exposures all together I, th I didn't go past three minutes i wanted to get three minutes to get that detail and i uh, got a bunch of that and i did two minutes um one half one minute all using the up uh, up to long end on hands and you know you've got to strike that balance to getting that detail and also keeping that brightness down in the centre so this is where the lower exposure times come in to play 10 seconds 20 seconds 30 seconds uh, and hopefully when you stack it all together you should get that detail and also hopefully reveal the trapezium um, in the centre so I want to show you the stacked images that I've got so I did a stack at five hours I want to see how I got and I actually processed this and published it onto Instagram over the moon with this image to be honest so I'm gonna flip up there uh, I did another stack at nine hours and, and I want to you're gonna see the difference here in brightness and it seems to be I was on, sort of on the right track here uh, the brightness has gone down so any look what I've done for the rest of the what I've ca captured and tonight uh, is worked out great and uh yeah i get a nice image if it does work out you know there's always next year i think that's the beauty about this hobby you can always go back and um, if you don't get it right the first time second time keep going back to it until you do get it right well <laughs> as promised Clouds rocked up. Uh, so it's probably me to start doing some calibration frames. I'm just on doing the, uh, or finishing up doing the flats. It's four o'clock in the morning now. So I'm gonna go and get uh, one, one sorted, get packed up and uh, get my head down because I am at work tonight. So as the video draws to an end, I wanna take this opportunity to thank all my subscribers, whether it's newfound or continued support, either way, it really is so amazing and it means a lot. So once again, thank you very much to all of you. As for capturing M42, I learned quite a bit. And to be honest, I can't wait to give this another go next year. Maybe I'll actually hit that 20 hour target. But for now, I will just have to settle with the 15 and a half hours. I think I did a good job keeping that core down. Um, I don't know, what do you think? Hope you enjoyed the video everyone and the final image. And on that note, take care everyone, clear skies and of course, Bye for now.